Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video, we're gonna assemble this really quick um, alien cupcake wrapper. And it's very simple. So let's take a look here at the pieces. And as you can see, it's made up of basically these three pieces for the actual wrapper itself. And then this is the little, um, little pick, and that's all, almost self-explanatory for the most part. So what I did was took the cupcake wrapper and you always want to train this thing just to kind of start it off to make sure that it starts off nice and round. Otherwise it may crease and that won't look very good. So start to kind of bend it so it has a natural curve. And then there's a little tab here. You don't actually need to bend that. That is just kind of a guide to help you with the placement of the glue. Okay, so you're gonna put a little bit of glue just behind that tab and you're gonna match that up. You can see that this little hole here matches up with the half hole on the, on the tab there. Okay, and it's okay if you get a little bit of glue there. These are gonna be on the back so no one's really gonna see those. So you just kinda hold that in place until it dries and that will dry clear so it's not a big deal. Maybe don't use as much glue as I just did. And really hold that in place until it gets a really good hold because there's a lot of tension there and it may try to kinda break away but as long as you hold it in place for long enough, it will stay nicely for you, okay? So there is the main part of the cupcake wrapper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and glue our alien head to the little black layer. Okay, come on glue. And you wanna be real gentle with the glue here. You don't want it to shoot out too much. And one thing that is kind of important is, and I've found that getting enough glue on this bottom part down here is pretty key because it may want to kind of peel off a little bit. Okay, so just align that nicely. Okay, and since we're taking a flat item and kind of wrapping it around something that's round, um, what I did was I just kind of took my finger and placed it in the middle of this thing, like between two of these fingers here. And I just took it and kind of wrapped it around my finger a little bit, just to kind of give it a, a bit of a natural curve. And that way it stays a lot better when you place it on your cupcake wrapper. Okay, so we're just gonna get that glued into place. Pretty straightforward. So the actual cupcakes, I just bought the, the least expensive cupcakes you can get at um, like your grocery store. I got mine at Jewel. Uh, I'm not really sure what all the major grocery chains are across the country, um, but mine were, I think I got a dozen for like seven or eight dollars. Um, you can see them here. These were actually for St. Patrick's Day, but luckily the frosting was like a really cool green it totally worked for um, like an alien sort of thing and I know the, those grocery stores also take like custom requests too so you can get whatever color frosting you want um, and again as I showed in a previous video we kind of um, added little eyeballs and I did that by just kind of grabbing my liquid pearls and pushing down a little dot and then just taking that and just pulling a little bit down. So I'm just kind of putting down a drop and then taking the tip and taking a little bit from the bottom and just pulling it down to kind of give them eyeballs like that. Now those are a little bit larger. I actually use liquid pearls. These are enamel accents by Ranger. I don't think they work as well for this sort of thing, but that's still cute. And I actually use silver instead of the white that I just showed you, but um, you get the idea. And then finally, the little pick here, as you can see, I'm gonna pull it out of this one here. You just take these two pieces and glue them together, like so. OK, 
okay? And then I just took mine with just a little bit of scotch tape, taped it to the pick and popped it right in there. So there's your cupcake. Oh, and also um, you can, as you can see here, the actual cupcake came with um, just a clear liner. Um, to give this really cool look here, I actually at Joanne found some red liners that I put inside the cupcake first, and then I put the actual cupcake in there. Okay, and that kind of gives it um, a cooler look, I think. So just a little tip there that will make this even cooler for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you are planning a boy's birthday and you use our Celestial Celebrations bundle, I would love to see photos of your party. So definitely post a picture to our Facebook uh, because that is where everybody seems to be hanging out. So I look forward to seeing your versions and I will see you next time. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.